Good morning to you. Happy Thursday morning, the first week of April. We've got a special treat for everybody today. Uh, you probably know this gentleman. This is Nick of Sunshine State RVs. Nick, say hi to the folks. Good morning. Go small, live large community. We are <laughs> in sunny Gainesville, Florida today. It is a smooth 60 degrees. It's beautiful. And you can tell it's cold because Nick's got his coat on, which is pretty funny. <laughs> you yes. Floridians, uh, I just love you. So uh, thanks for joining the live and thank you for watching the replay. This is a very unusual vehicle that is just now coming out and Nick want to give us some special treatment on what this adventure truck is. It's the uh, Hilt. Let me show this picture. This is on the Ram 5500. Um, it's a brand new product from Storyteller Overland. We love Storyteller and their amazing mode vans, right? Yeah, they're, um, they're super great. Let me just show you real quick what we're going to talk about and do here, and then we'll let uh, Nick loose. So we're going to do the interior tour first, because the inside defies gravity and what the outside is. Wait to see the outside. Then we're going to jump back inside, um, talk specs, availability, and price. And we're going to take your questions throughout and if you want to learn more about Sunshine State RVs, uh, it's sunshinestaterv.com, storytelleroverland.com. And there's in-person events with Storyteller across the country. And you guys have this rig for about a, um, a month on, on site as kind of a demo unit. Is that right? That is correct. Yes. So let's, um, Nick, just kind of give us a little intro on Sunshine. And let's have you show us, the, uh, show us the interior because it's pretty cool. It's very different from on the outside. That's for sure. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. So thank you, Scott. So yeah, so I'm Nick with Sunshine State RVs. We are in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealership in, in the state of Florida. We're number three in the whole country. So all we do are Class B vans. And now we're going to have to start putting an asterisk after that because <laughs> obviously this is an expedition truck. This is not a Class B van. This is on a Dodge 5500 truck chassis. Uh, it's about 27-ish feet long. This is a serious apocalyptic uh, machine, which can do a lot, do a lot. But we sell the Storyteller vans, and we and we just started selling them back in January, and we've sold quite a few of them since then. Uh, we have we have quite a few in order. And then when this hilt came out, I was all over it. Like I'm like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. You know, my kids are all teenagers now, Scott. Um, I actually have four teenagers, if you can believe that: 19, 17, 15, and 13. And as a father of four teenagers, my goal is to stay relevant and cool with my kids. And, you know, uh, an older, balding, overweight guy is typically not a cool factor with my kids. But when I brought this thing home, Scott, they definitely thought I was cool still. <laughs> he became cool for a few minutes. That's so funny. Well, yes. kind of tell us um, what we're, what you're sitting in and give us a little guided tour. That's kind of the, the back half yes. of the dining so area. So yeah. what's what's really cool, and I'll and I'll start with this. So there is not a single one of these for sale in the United States of America. Not a single one. They have a, a a hilt tour, which they have three of them that are floating around the country at all different times. You kind of gotta. It's kind of like the wind. You gotta find it, or like water. Like you don't know where it's gonna be. They do have a tour. They put them there for a day here, a day there, a day here, hoping it works with someone's schedule. What I've convinced them to do is to leave this one here for thirty days. So this hilt is here as of this recording for the next 30 days. Um, I think it's leaving on May 1st or something like that. So the whole entire month of April in 2024, this hilt will be in Gainesville, Florida. If you want to fly into Orlando, Tampa, Jacksonville, we will pick you up at the airport and bring you here. So you can tour it, you can drive it, you can spend time in it and decide if this beast is for you. Well, not beast, I shouldn't say beast because Storyteller makes a beast. If this expedition truck Monster. is for you <laughs> and, and that's pretty unique because there's no other ones in the country there's none for sale none have been sold they only have their three that are floating around the united states and this is the only one that's going to be stationary for a month so that's kind of why this is a big deal scott appreciate it yeah and that's really cool and gainesville's uh, just a great place to go go gators right go gators yes sir my son's gonna be playing <laughs> on the football team next year so i'm pretty excited about that <laughs> that's cool um so a little bit about Global Expedition uh, and Storyteller. So Global Expedition was making these expedition trucks for the last 20 years in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, they were acquired by Storyteller, and Storyteller took what they were doing and put the Storyteller flair and touch and uh, fingerprint all over it. They improved it. They made it more streamlined. 
to where it can be manufactured and they cut the price in half base. So this was about a million dollars before. If you look at the Earth Roamer version of this, it's about a million dollars. If you look at the other ones, and this one is 446,000. So pretty insane that they're able to sell something like this for that price. But Storyteller has a see-through pricing. So there's one price and that's it. It never changes, it never flexes. That's the price. So there's a lot. So as we do this video, you're gonna see there's a lot that gets that is in this expedition truck for that price. I mean, for instance, look at where I'm sitting. I'm six foot tall, so my wingspan is scientifically supposed to be six foot, and I'm not touching either end of this. I mean, there's lots of space here. I'm a big dude, and I can sit here. I can sit here. This is a great lounge area in the back that you can truly have six, four to six people around this lounge area back here um the dodge 5500 does have the double cab so you have five seat belts up there and you have sleeping back here for four potentially five if you know three of them are kids you can put three here and the parents can sleep in the bed up top but i really really like how big and comfortable this is the table swivels there's lots of options for different types of tables this table can come out this table swivels but it's but it's really uh really easy to maneuver around the table. Um, Scott, I would say you agree with me that this is a nice look in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's really stunning. I was just going to point out the windows and the mood lighting, even at your feet. It's just it, it's it's crazy great. Yes, it is. Um, I love the LED lights. They have lighting presets. So you know, I my wife is um, and she's an interior designer. So things have to be aesthetically pleasing for my wife. Um, you know, she doesn't necessarily like my, what I wear every day, but, um, she loves it when there's different presets for lighting. So we have an app on our phone and sort of like six o'clock, she changes all the lights in our house. And so some are on, some are off and this and that same thing in here. So there's like six, five different lighting presets here that you can say, you know what, in the morning, these are lights I want on and you save a preset in the afternoon at nighttime. So all these lights, you can control them individually or all at once, which is, which is pretty convenient. These windows are really big awning style windows. So there's one, two, three, four in the back. And there's also some up front by, by the bed. So these awning style windows, they open up very wide. They also have a screen here for large bugs. Here in Florida, we have large bugs. <laughs> um, I don't know how they are in Texas where you're at right now. But we have dragonflies and we have and we have uh, love bugs, which I've always heard were invented here at the University of Florida, which is pretty crazy. Um, but the screen protects the bugs and at nighttime very easily. Just push this down, and now you have complete blackout. So it's nice and easy the way that they do that. And so storyteller being in the RV industry, they have access to this type of stuff that's high quality, very light, and just works. So big window there, big window there, big window there as well. So I love the lighting. I love the windows and just the flow of all of this. Nick, one thing before uh, you, we stop on the windows, um, you'll see, ladies and gentlemen, once we get outside, this rig is really high. If you look out the windows, those are um, like Winnebago Travados. You are looking yeah. at one and down on one. Uh, so this is how high this thing is off the ground. So it really changes your viewpoint, vantage point. Yeah. So just imagine being out in the wilderness and you're not looking at the, you know, the bushes next to you. You're really looking above them, which is pretty unusual. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, I guess now that I'm saying I can see the entire roof of the Winnebago Travada right there. Pretty yeah, cool. so many feet off the ground. Cabinetry? Uh, yeah, so I really like the cabinetry that they chose. Um, the color is nice. The wood grain is nice. It flows very well. You got some nice lights up here. I like that the handles are hidden. They're not sticking out. Um, so hidden handles there. And this is a very durable um, insulated cabinet here. So you got cabinets throughout the entire area here. You got cabinets back here. And I like that they leave them open. So they close, they, they divide these, but they leave some open for bigger things. And then they divide these for smaller things. So having a variety is really nice because if you just had all little cabinets, you'd have nowhere to store big things. And if you had all big cabinets, you'd have to make your own dividers. Scott, you know, you live in your van. Yeah, I mean, that's 100% true. 
different sizing of cabinets is great. So if you look in here, it's all insulated. Things are not going to move around. Um, you know, this does have what they call a 360 degree closed cap, closed cell insulation. So you can even feel that this is solid. Like, like this is a very solidly insulated coach. That is part of making it a true four seasons coach. Like you mentioned earlier, Scott, we only have one season here in Florida, and that's hops. So we don't know what four season truly feels like. It's um, true. But you have a step down. So you got all that. You have a two fans. You got a fan back here, and you also have a fan in the front. So in lots of parts of the country, you don't need to run your air conditioner all the time. You can open some windows, use the two fans, and get some great temperature in here. Um, here in Florida, you have to use this AC. So this is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner that is fully ducted throughout the entire coach. And maybe explain quick what ducting means. Yeah, so ducting means that it just doesn't flow out of here. It actually flows out of here. And when you're sleeping, it flows out of there. And then in the bed um, back there, it, there's vents there. So when you're sleeping, you're not just getting the AC dumping on you. This is what they call the AC dump right here. Um, you have ducts throughout the van, that van, I call it a van, throughout the, the truck, the RV, oh, the rig. Um, <laughs> throughout the rig. You have van, ducts throughout the rig that are putting air conditioner on you throughout the entire RV. Um, one um, thing I want to point out, Nick, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, the flickering you're seeing on the lights, uh, the mood lighting above uh, the cabinets there, that's a frame rate issue. Um, cause the LEDs, they do this. If you don't adjust the frame rate, we're going normal frame rate. So that is not, it's, it's solid light. It's not strobe oh, mode, okay. just so you know. No, there, there are no <laughs> strobe lights in here. No strobe, now, light. All right. strobe lights. <laughs> if you saw the storyteller, uh, advertisement, uh, YouTube video for this thing, it looks like a Mad Max video and I'm sure they got strobe lights and all kinds of stuff that, that they put in here. They make it look very, uh, fun, right, Scott? Yeah. Um, okay, so you got lots of storage here. So this is a big storage compartment with a with a uh, uh, a bar here that you can hang clothes from. You can also put shelves in here if you want. There's there are some shelves that are kind of built in. So this is pretty neat, right? So those shelves fold down, and you can put stuff on top of here. You can hang stuff. Um, I I really like how they do it. Um, and it, and they seem to be heavy duty to where you can actually put stuff on top of it. So really like how big this is and how much you can do there um i also like the matte black cabinetry so this wall here is matte black um and it, and it just it's it's really smooth and then you go into like this is like a dry erase board almost so this is like a white dry dry erase board here um you know i can envision having some expo markers here and if i get up early and my wife is still sleeping i can write gone hunting to catch deer for dinner or something. I don't know. What you, <laughs> gone to get food. I don't know what people do. You know, you leave your wife a note saying you're going hunting um, in, the, in the wilderness, right, Scott? Yep. <laughs> I don't actually do that. I would say I'm going to Whole Foods to get you uh, right. a okay. you know, that, that would be more my, my letter to my wife. Um, so this is not your traditional RV fridge, right? This is an isotherm, really, really heavy duty, latching, locking, cooling. This is an Italian brand. This is made in Italy, and everything made in Italy is definitely better, right, Scott? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, this yeah. is an Italian brand fridge. This is the freezer that I just maybe broke out of right here. This is the freezer here. So you got a big freezer, big fridge. I really like the size of this. You know, some of the other ones that I've seen in these expedition trucks have smaller fridges and or freezers but i like the look i like the size of it and then here we have a microwave convection but scott we have one other thing that i know you wish you had in your van what's that an air fryer <laughs> no way <laughs> this has a built-in air fryer my son made sweet potato french fries last night in an air fryer and they were good they were good <laughs> You did two first oh my goodness they were good so i have some honey mustard sweet potato but you can make all of that in here Air fryer, convection, food dehydrator. Don't know what that really means, but it comes with it. So it's very cool. You can actually cook in here. 
This is the galley area. Any questions about that, Scott, or, or am I uh, moving at a good pace? No, you're doing good. Um, well, one thing I might add is um, it's nice to see the freezer on the bottom, not on the top. So you're kind of on your hands and knees in the fridge, uh, which you're using way more often, I think, than the freezer. So good job, Storyteller, for putting the fridge on top of the um, the freezer stack. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like it. Um, okay. Hey. So something else that I think is cool. The designers at Storyteller have done a great job with their what my wife would call the aesthetics. So you got your light wood, you got your, your matte black, you got your white, you got some more light wood here, different color handles. So all of this is kind of what's in right now, right? Like this is the look, like in my house, I got three colors of cabinets and, you know, different, you know, white countertops. This is the look that's very in, very, uh, a very nice look and storytellers incorporating that in this apocalyptic heavy duty uh, adventure truck, which is insane that that you can have something this nice on the outside, but this rugged on the outside. And I know we haven't jumped outside yet. We're saving that for last. Um, but nice, big, what they would call a farmhouse sink. Uh, this is hot and cold water. Your fresh water tank is 120 gallons. That's like a well. I don't think that's not like a tank. That's like a <laughs> freshwater well. 120 gallons. That's a you lot. Hot water. You got cold water. You have a whole filtration system. Um, this is what I call the tower of power. So you have USB ports, USC ports, and 110. So if you have your coffee maker, you bring it out, put it here, plug it in, make your coffee. If you have uh, I don't know, whatever else you got, you can plug <laughs> it in right there. Um, and then this is your double induction cooktop. So double induction, you can cook two things at once, or you can leave it covered and make your ham and cheese sandwiches here, which is what I would probably do more often than cooking on it. You have lots of counter space and it's perfect. Nick, one thing I like about this implementation of a induction cooktop is that it's sunken from the countertop. Then you have a lid that goes on top of it so that it's protected because you're not going to use this thing every day, probably. But it's there if you need it, and it's it's sunk into the countertop, so you have a flat surface with that lid on top. Very smart. Yeah, and that wallpaper. Flat. Wallpaper. And, and, and literally, if you never use it, you don't even know it's there. Like it, it is, it is, it it flows that well. I like that there's a lip back here. I like that you got this here, so water can drain into the sink. Um, and, and there's a lip here, so if you do spill something, it's not dripping over. It is gathering in the lip that goes all the way around the uh, the countertop. Um, Nice big cabinets that are dovetailed. So that's a higher quality of construction. So we got a big one there. Oh, these are soft closing. I, I made it. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. Nice big one there as well. You we have a garbage pail and cool. a little spot for a recycling thing right here. Save the world one cook can at a time, Scott. Yep. It all matters. It all matters. Um, you got drawer there and another drawer there. So four nice big drawers. Oh, here's a little one. So this is where you put your silverware or something. Yep. So, very cool. I like that leather handle too. Isn't that cool? Just different. Yeah. Gives a nice look. Your wife approves. My wife would definitely approve of that. It's different, <laughs> different materials, Scott. Um, so like I said, the dry erase board, which is very cool. I, you know, my 13 year old is an artist and he loves drawing. If this was my van, I'd probably say, Hey, draw me something cool on that. You know, give me a little, give me, Oh, I, I didn't even mention this. So speaking of drawing, they have a laser etched map of the world. So here's where we are right here in North central Florida. That's where you are right there in Dallas, Texas. Texas. Yeah. Pretty cool. Where, huh? Where's the eclipse going? The eclipse is going there. <laughs> not so much in florida today. not so much in florida yeah, it's really cool i love that it's I just don't know. my kid's school sent us an email and said if your kid wants to see the, the eclipse they gotta have like protective eyewear or something yep you're gonna see just a little sliver carved out of the sun but you need those special glasses for sure yes uh, texas we're um, gonna go dark it's gonna be so awesome. you're gonna be my dark favorite in room. texas huh you're gonna be dark in texas yeah wow I doubt Florida will be dark as well. Um, so nice. Let me find the lavatory lights. Look at that. Nice big bathroom. This is way bigger than your traditional class B. Uh, lots of space in here. 
It is what they would call a wet bath, though. So you do have hot water and cold water here. You brush your teeth, wash your hands, do all of your nightly routine here. You have a toilet. So this has 120 gallon fresh water, 40 gallon gray water, and it does have a cassette toilet, which is great because you're typically not going to be in campgrounds in this, is my guess. My guess is the reason you are spending the money to buy this. This is all of the inner workings of the water system, easy, easy access, which is great for service departments. Um, so my guess is you're not going to be in campgrounds every night. So the cassette toilet makes life very easy to where you don't have to find someone to dump a, a black tank. Um, lots of space in here. you got your clothesline here. This is a Storyteller branded uh, shower curtain. It has little storage compartments here on the back side of it. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it has, uh, so you can put stuff in here. There's also a pole and swivel. There's a little cabinet there. And there is a fan in here as well um, for exhausting the bathroom. <laughs> Fumes and steam. Fumes and, yes, all kinds of stuff. Um <laughs> It's so, a lovely bathroom. It's really yeah, nice. no, nice size, very big. Like I said, full luxury. I mean, just feels great in here. So this is something that's cool. So first off, obviously you can see the bed, right? Good size bed. Uh, I think it's a queen size bed. But check this out, Carson. Show them this. I mean, look at this. Like a gel. There's like a gel material under here that makes this really comfortable. This is like a really cool gel material, and the bed. So. <laughs> You know, you can leave this mattress in here. Sometimes people upgrade the mattresses. They put mattress pads on them, double mattress pads that they like. But this is a really, really comfortable bed already, as it is. Um, there is a ladder here. Let's see how we slide this thing out. So this slides out like this. And then you climb up just like this. But my head. So now you can see the size of it. Lots of space in here. And you got one window there. You have a big window there. You have another window on this side. And you have ducted air conditioner. Um, there's also these really cool tower of powers here. So you got 110 plug, 110 plug, USB, and USC in the bed as well. Um, and there's four of these storage compartments. That's nice. It looks like they measured a shotgun and they gave you a little storage <laughs> compartment right here for it. Well, you got to get that moose if it's coming after you. That is a true <laughs> statement. But, yeah, so there's one, two, three, four. There's also a place for a TV mount right here. This doesn't come with it because not everyone wants a TV in their bed. So it's right there. But um, I have seen, I have heard people saying they're going to be, they're going to be mounting a TV there. There's also an exhaust fan. So if you don't want to use the air conditioner at night, there is an exhaust fan. Um, you know, Scott, I did mention the idea of not being in campgrounds every night. This has a very, very, very robust lithium system. How robust? Um, robust. Very We're going to talk about that when we get back inside. <laughs> uh, we can. I, I can. So it's a lithionic system. Storytellers just kind of overhauled their entire lithium. They went from Volta all to Lithionics. So now it's a 16.8 kW um, uh, Lithionics lithium system. Uh, 1,325 watts of solar on the roof. Uh, now that's meaningful. That is meaningful. Two 3,000 watt inverters. You know the only thing better than one 3,000 watt inverter is, right? Dose. Two of them. <laughs> Two inverters, 1,300 watts of solar, 16.8 kW. Mm -hmm watt hours of lithionics batteries everything i mean and this dodge has high idle so you can idle it at about 2000 rpms and it charges that system up very quick even without driving so if you are going to stay somewhere and you do need to charge your batteries and you're in the middle of an eclipse and there's no sun you just turn your truck on we're not high idle and it, and it charges up in a couple hours that is a great segue. Um, so we had a few people wondering if you're going to get a cramp coming down the ladder. You clearly did not. So good job. <laughs> and um, the window above the bed, I think would be just so cool if you're laying in it at night and the moon was uh, traversing the sky. To me, there's nothing more special about van travel than sleeping in a moonbeam. 
and man, you're you're gonna have to I don't know put the shades down in a full moon because that that would be coming in on the moonbeam. That was so cool seeing the stars out in the nowhere. That's a that's big window. Milky Way, yeah, it's really stunning. Yeah, really yeah. stunning. That's All cool. right. Any other questions about the interior as we're moving on? Um, nope. Everybody's enjoying themselves. Uh, so um, let's jump outside because that's so, equally as cool in a very different way. Yes, sir. One more thing oh. before we jump outside. So Storyteller has designed what they call this mission control panel. Um, and, and this also has the same presets I mentioned before. It also has all the climate. So this has a, a the heating system. It has a 13,000 BTU hydronic heating system that you control. Um, it also has your fresh tank and your gray tank. Your batteries um, can last forever. And then you turn it on and off here. So everything is here. Um, and then you can just turn it off. But, you know, there's lots of cool, um, sure, but lots of cool options here on, on how to use it, what you can use, and what you can do with it. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Good location. It's right there. You got this. This is a pass-through to... This is a pass-through to the inside. So this is set up like so. Um, this should lay, there's something blocking it, but this should lay flat and uh, a kid can definitely crawl in there. I might get a cramp if I did that. Um, but it is a pass through if you do need it, but this does lay fat, flat and you can crawl in and out. Very cool. Don't know if everybody's in these. Scott, you're in good shape. You can definitely use that thing. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. Kids running back and forth, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also like some of the branding, you know, they do a good job with their branding. It says hilt. They got all the buttons here. Nice, nice big insulated door. We will walk outside now, Scott. Yeah, and I think this will just give you a sense of how. This is pretty cool here. So this, you have a garbage pail here. So that way, as you're outside under the awning, you do have a place to put garbage. You can put your dog leashes here. You can, you know, really have this, and then. And then the, the stairs can go in and out, or they can stay out. Totally depends on what you want. But all of those controls are right here. So you can control what it does right here through through the buttons there. Um, so now we're outside. So, so let's walk up front. Check this thing out. So this is on the Dodge 5500 chassis. And the whole, whole thing is Rhino line. This is like a Kevlar-based, insane bazooka proof not really <laughs> but it's really cool looking and it's and it does if you are in the woods or you're already adventuring this does give you a lot of option of not scratching up your entire van, your expedition truck your rig i mean this and it just gives you that really cool look but flare space they add a bumper they have a 20 or thirty thousand pound hitch and there's more of their branding which is really cool so a big heavy duty hitch this big bumper here parking sensors they have what they call 360 degree uh, halo, like a lighting around the entire rig. So from the front, let me look at those. Five humongous KC lights. Five humongous KC lights on the top there. Those things are about eight inches, I think he said. Eight inches round. Wow. So really, really nice and really, really bright, Scott. Yeah, you'll probably be changing the flight patterns of wherever you're headed toward with those things on. Holy cow. You're definitely changing the light patterns. Um, so as we're walking here, these are some of the heaviest duty military style tires I've ever seen. Um, this is a true three-piece beadlocked wheel and a heavy duty uh, continental tire um, that really gives you the ability to go anywhere. I have driven it on the interstate. There we go. I have driven this on the interstate. I've driven it down the road. Very comfortable drive. Very easy to drive. And one of the things that really contributes to that are the liquid springs. So the liquid springs have three different height um, settings. So you can go right at low, medium, or high, depending on what you're doing and what comfort level you want. It also has like a stiff and a looser ride or like a cushionier ride. Um, so you can control that as well. As we're walking, the the cha this chassis is a limited chassis. So this gives you every feature 
most of them are going to be the uh, Laramie, which still has the leather, the power seats, the big navigation screen, all all every, all of the options and features that the Dodge 5500 gives. We can jump in there and start it up here in a second. But lots of uh, lots of cool. Oh, here we go. This is what was stopping me from opening it. A box. So now, so you can really see how big. Let me jump in there and show you Carson. And Carson's doing a great job as so being this, our camera lady. So thank you. <laughs> can you see this? So oh, yeah. So I can crawl in and out of here. Now you're going to get a cramp. <laughs> no cramps. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Nice job, sir. <laughs> I did it. You did so, it. That's cool. So you can see, if you need more people back there, if you need to drive with five people, you can. If you just want more storage, you can store stuff up here as well. But this is all part of part of the, the uh, everyone's going to use it differently, right? I mean, some people may sleep in this a lot. Some people may go still go to hotels. Some people may use this in the wilderness solely or go to some campground. You know, everybody kind of has a different use and feel for how they're going to use everything um there is some outdoor storage which is nice so this is decently deep you know i'd put like a little toolbox or something in there um you do have 110 plugs outside here and that is under the awning the awning does have led lights as well nick we did have one question on the height of the windows and, if you, and you said you're a little over six feet uh, yes, six foot plus air. So I would say the bottom of that is around eight feet, I would say. Yeah, they're really up there. It's cool. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. Um, as we're walking back, more storage. So this is pretty big and pretty deep here as well. So some good outside storage. But, Scott, being a full-timer in a van, you're going to appreciate this a lot. This is, you stay oh. right there. This is full pass-through storage that is insulated and inside the van. That is cool. Can you see me? Yep. <laughs> so, I cannot climb through this, I don't think. You want me to try? No, it's fine. We don't want you to get stuck. <laughs> that would be that would make for funny TV there, Scott. I was gonna say that would go viral. <laughs> I'm stuck. That's but, stuck. Very yeah. nice. Lots of space. You got hooks in here if you did want to hook something there. Carson, there's also hooks right there that you can show. There are hooks there, hooks here, so things don't go flying back and forth. My guess is you can take your bike apart and stick it in here if you want. You can put scooters in here. You can put chairs in here. You can put rescue gear. You can put tools. Um, Skis, golf clubs. Golf clubs, photography equipment, uh, tents, uh, backpacks, hiking equipment. Whatever it is you do and however you want to use this thing, this is a very, very valuable amount of storage to use. And you got the back seat and you got the inside, but this is nice for your outside stuff. And it's lockable storage as well. Nice. Um, so the back here is pretty cool. These are called invader racks. So what's nice about it is you can put stuff there and hook it, or you can buy boxes and fuel tanks and different things and you can mount it permanently or semi-permanently to these invader racks. So Storyteller uses these racks a lot because it gives you a lot of flexibility to where, depending on how you're going to use your van, is how you're going to use these invader racks. Um, they are made by Flare Space, again, which is a great company. Um, this is a full-size spare. So if you are somewhere and you do need a spare, this is not going to make you only go 30 miles an hour. This is a full size spare. And you may look at this and say, Nick, how am I going to get that spare tire down? That's a Nick, great how to get that spare tire down? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. There is a second winch that they give you to winch it down. No way. And you don't have to be able to lift 500 pounds to do it. Now, to change it, you might have to, but That's there's also triple A's for it. That's what triple A's <laughs> for. Exactly. There is a heavy commercial heavy duty tow hitch uh i can tow i think 10 or fifteen thousand pounds are the numbers that i'm hearing um i can get exact but they can tow a lot a boat side by sides jet skis definitely another car pickup truck jeep something like that um i love how they did some branding as well so they got storyteller branding there 
more LED lights, nice big camera. So really cool, really cool there. As we are going around, this is your water area. So this is where you would use your fresh water, um, city water, winterize it or fill it. There is a, an outside shower here with a little hose. You do hot or cold water. And then this is where you dump your gray water and you can access some of your water functions there. Um, these all open up so that way you can take this all the way down and lay it flat if you need. Oh, I like how cool. they give you that option. On the yeah, prototype, cool. I did not see this. That's nice. Give you like a little shelf then if you need to. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And there's a light in here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there oh, is yeah. a light and this is insulated to where it, it can have um, to where you can use it in the cold weather. This is also a city water fill here. Um, and there again, I love their branding. It's not just logos or decals. This is like laser etched on here, like really, really high quality stuff. So this particular model uh, has two, two fuel tanks. So there is a fuel tank here and there is another one up there. Um, most of the models are going to be a 52 gallon fuel tank. Um, and then here is another outside storage, which there, there again, very, very valuable space. Any type of storage you can get on an RV, Scott, you know, this from your five years, is <laughs> super, super important. Yes. Um, you know, something that storyteller did that, that I like being an RV dealer is they put a lot of regular RV components on here. So that way, if you don't know how to use it or as things fail, you no matter where you're at, you can get someone to fix it. You know, some of these expedition trucks just have the most exotic components. Um, that does two things. A, it raises the price to a million dollars. And then B, it makes it where no one can fix it but them. So you're calling the one place that made it out in wherever, you're in another part of the country and no one else can has the parts or can get them easily. What Storyteller decided to do was, hey, you know what? You're going to be using this and things are going to break. But you can go get a 30 amp smart plug thing anywhere in the country. Every camping world has these. Every RV dealership, everybody has this type of stuff. The same with the black tank. If you lose your black tank or it breaks or something happens, you can buy one on Amazon and have it delivered the next day. You can go to any RV warehouse and buy the black tank cassette thing for 50 bucks. You know, it's like you can even carry an extra one if you like. So I like how they incorporate some normal RV stuff in here. And that's the, the expertise that Storyteller brought to it that maybe, you know, they didn't have in the past. Does that make sense? It makes great sense. And it's a great that you point that out. Even a mobile RV tech can come to where you are, assuming you're not yeah. in the middle of Rocky Mountains, and make some of the changes to these common systems. It's a very smart move. Yeah. Like all of our coaching products use a smart plug. All of our storyteller products use the same smart plug. And I love the plug because when it's in there, it lights up and tells you it's on and it does it. You know, this is something that our technicians will teach you how to use when you're here at Sunshine State RVs. We teach you how to use it. And then we put you up at a campground for your first two nights. So that way you can test all your systems and truly learn how to use everything in your rig before you go out to the great Tetons and the, you know, wherever, <laughs> wherever it is you're growing with it. We want you to learn how to use it in Gainesville. And five minutes so from us, that way we can teach you how to do it. Um, okay, so you saw the storage, you saw a smart plug. We got another fuel tank here. This is your def tank. And this is obviously the beautiful leather. I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is like a towing extension. So that way you can tow more. But the leather's nice, really comfortable, really high-end look and feel to it. Um, I like the stitching and the piping, power everything. Same thing here. If you want to get on the passenger seat, I'll go ahead and start it up and show some of the chassis. Good job, Carson. <laughs> Scott, we'll be real brief here, but I did want to show a couple things. So this is the the air ride component here. I don't know if you can show that or not. But this is where you control the liquid springs, not air ride. I, I mistakenly said air ride. I meant liquid springs. This is where you would control your height. This is where you control your normal sport or comfort. And everything is mounted really nice right here, easy to use. Um, something else that I like is I also like the controls here with different cameras and different 
different things where you can see you have a 360 camera, you have a backup camera, left view camera, right view. Look at all these vans, Scott. You ever seen that many vans in one spot? It's a lot of vans <laughs> in a little bit of space. <laughs> a little bit of space. Um, so there's lots of different cameras here that that can kind of help you through your journey. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. You have adaptive cruise control, push-button start. So everything that these high-end um, Dodge chassis have on it, this thing has. So that was kind of what I want to show you about uh, the inside is when you're driving this, it's very comfortable, very easy. You don't feel like you have the uh, this type of rig, the apocalyptic machine. <laughs> trailing yeah. behind you you really feel like you're in a big pickup truck that's amazing that's really yeah. amazing and, and they did a lot of uh suspension work for off-road but to manage the ride too like you've been talking about so that's a really big deal it is it is let's jump in the back there okay and we'll talk a few specs uh get your questions coming ladies and gentlemen if you can use uh three stars and three question marks it would look like this that will help us find your uh where is it right here so uh, three stars, three question marks. Um, thanks for being here this morning. Pretty cool, right? Um, a lot of you said once I hit the lottery, this could be a cool rig. Um, I don't disagree with you. A lot of money, but it's a lot of rig. And it's not for everyone for sure, but it's a pretty interesting. Uh, and, they've, and they've really done a really good job. I've been in this a few times now. And um, maybe I'll come stay the, uh, stay the night, Nick. What do you think? Camp out in your parking lot. <laughs> It's all yours. You can use it if you want to use it for a night, nice Scott. It's all yours. We'll, uh, woo, we'll have it here. We'll that's have so it here until May first. So if right. you can get here to Gainesville between now and May first. It is. <laughs> it is all yours. Let's see. Let's um uh, just go over some of the specs. So again, the the waste, the fresh, the lithium. Those are the big things. It's four season. Um, yeah. So I actually. Made some notes here. You see, I am very prepared, Scott. I appreciate. I don't typically you. make notes because I don't <laughs> typically need them, but I didn't want to lead anybody wrong. Um, appreciate that. So the lithium system: sixteen point eight kW lithionics batteries, thirteen hundred twenty-five watts of solar, two three thousand watt inverters, and the high idle, which is huge because the high idle. You click it on and it goes up to about 2000 RPMs and it sits there and idles and it's totally safe for the truck to do it. And in a couple hours, your batteries are fully charged up. So people, a lot of times they'll do that in the morning. Once they wake up from sleeping all night, you can easily run the air conditioner all night, have the fridge on all night, have a couple lights on all night, have a CPAP machine on all night with this lithium battery system very easily. 1300 watts of solar, even with your air conditioner running, that solar is probably at a neutral uh, charge versus usage rate because yep. there's so much solar on the roof. I mean, 1300 yep. watts is a lot. A it's, lot. It's a... Um, 10, uh, 10 K BTU hydronic heat with two air handlers, 15,000 BTU ducted air conditioner, 360 degree closed cell insulation. So that is like super duper high end insulation that makes this a true four season coach. Um, 120 fresh water, 40 gallons of gray water. The liquid springs has three ride heights. The wheels are a three piece bead locked wheel and the winch is 20,000 pounds. So I actually incorporated all of my specs into my spiel. How's that? I'm impressed. That's not yeah. easy. <laughs> That's not easy. Um, we got a couple questions. And yeah. the one I want to have is, um, you know, they're just coming out, but from your experience being such a great dealer over the years, um, what kind of a customer would likely be a buyer for this. Um, so clearly not. Well, I don't know. Any any thoughts on that? Then we got yeah. Questions. So so it's actually so we've actually taken a few deposits already on these. Um, the people that we have taken deposits from, one of them owns a storyteller mode already, a beast, and he wants he this came out. He loves his so much. He's actually keeping his beast, and he's getting this as like an extra for when he does longer trips. So this is what he will sleep in. The beast is what he will travel more in and maybe stay in hotels sleeping at one night here one night there but this is when he'll do longer trips and something like this um another customer is trading in their revel for this um you know loves that off-road and then wants the more capability wants the more size and you know these these are both you know couples in their late 40s early 50s mid 50s that are 
that that are you know still kind of working but have time to enjoy it and, and be a part of it the other people i've talked to have have been people that 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 really want to push to the limits where they can take their van um you know they may have had vans or they've had super c's or class a's and they're like i just can't take that where i want to go and so yeah. now they're they're really feeling like i can take this where i want to go and be comfortable and have the tank sizes and have the truck to drive that's very comfortable and the towing capacity and everything else that they offer. And I think that's a good point because it's the capability of this rig that isn't really available on a van. Truck campers that are modified like this can really go off grid. If you've done a, a watch of the other channels of truck campers that are of this type, you can go, I mean, like boulder climbing with this thing. So uh, to your point on getting further off grid, a few yeah. questions. Um, um so see cart let's see if I put it up on the screen here for you hold hold tight uh dave wants to know um <laughs> where is it right here dave 49 was where does one park this vehicle well wherever you park it like a walmart you're gonna be getting some looks for sure right <laughs> but, <laughs> me me and my friend hank strange i know you're friends with hank as well we drove it to Publix the other day which is like a supermarket here in town and we had no less than 10 pictures videos and <laughs> And maybe because he's famous, and so maybe that's why everyone was taking the pictures and videos. But the van, the rig, definitely attracted everybody, everybody. to come. But we were able to park at Publix. We went to a restaurant, and obviously you gotta have a space at your house or property or a barn or something. But pretty yeah, cool. It, I mean, it's not that big. I mean, it looks big and daunting when you're driving it and parking. I mean, obviously you can't park it in a normal spot. You gotta go out a little bit. But right. it's you know. It's, it is not like you're driving a class A. I can tell you that right now. It is not, it is so much easier to park, so much easier to drive, to maneuver, a million times easier. Well said. So here's a question from C Car T1. Um, storyteller mode vans are truck to dealerships, so they have very low mileage at delivery. How are Hilts delivered? Any option to pick up at the factory? And maybe you can talk through some of your um, delivery options. Yeah. So we offer free delivery anywhere in the country. Um, and that is typically driven. Um, we we can also offer flatbed delivery anywhere in the country. This one was flatbedded to us, so there's less than 100 miles on it, and it's going to be flatbedded picked up from us on May 1st. So um, I, I would assume that they're going to be flatbedded. Like I said earlier in the video, none of these have actually ever been delivered yet, so nobody owns one. Um, there's a couple prototypes that they're driving all around the country. This is the only. This is the first one off the production line. There, there will be other ones here in the next few weeks or a month. Some of the customers that put deposit with us will get them in the next month. If you ordered one today, you will have it in September, is what they're telling me. Um, and and the and obviously, you know, delivery we'll, we'll deliver it for free anywhere in the country. So wherever you're at, we will drive it to you. If you do want a flatbedded, we'll, we would, you know, we'll talk pricing yeah. of that. But they do not offer factory delivery either. So um, that. From what they're telling me, that's not an option. They are real involved in in the technical support. They're real involved in the questions ahead of time. But as in a, and they'll do factory tours, but as in, you know, getting it and picking it up. Now, this is the beautiful thing about Storyteller, Scott, and this is why I was so excited. So they have this see-through pricing. So no matter where you buy this hill from or any Storyteller van for that matter, they have the exact same price anywhere in the country. They don't allow for inflation based on, oh, California is more expensive to live. So it's cheap, more expensive in California and cheaper in Florida. They don't do like it is the same price everywhere and they flatbed them. There's no extra cost for that. So everybody, there's a level playing field. So Scott, like you've experienced and so many other people that watch your channel, we have the best customer service in the country. Why would you not want to buy from the best customer service in the United States at Sunshine State RVs if you're paying the exact same no matter where you buy it from? Yeah, because the dealership experience, it's a long-term relationship like your spouses. So, um, And you guys have a five-day guarantee to, for service appointment. Uh, if, we do. You anywhere anywhere from, you're yeah. at, whatever's going on, we give you a five-day guarantee. If you have an issue, you call us. We get you into the shop and looked at and potentially fixed within those five days. We also give tech support over the phone anytime you need it. We put you up at the campground here locally so that way you can help, just like I mentioned earlier, learn how to work your van. And then and then we we anywhere you're traveling to, if you do need service on the road, we help you schedule and find. We have dealership partners all over the country that that we've worked with. So we help you find the best area, the best place for service no matter where you're at in the United States. 
So cool. Uh, we got a couple more questions and comments. So this is C um, Car T one again. Uh, did you show the Pac Man art under the induction cooktop? I don't know. Let's look at it. <laughs> See, I don't know either. <laughs> Maybe it's on the bottom of the uh, cover, huh? Not see that anywhere. There's no Pac-Man art. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe it just comes out. Oh, look at that. How <laughs> neat is that? <laughs> Thank you, C Car T1. Wow, that's yeah. cool. I didn't see, huh? I had no idea about that. That's funny. Did you get a good look at it, Scott? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh that's cool. <laughs> and who doesn't like Pac-Man really? I mean, uh, yeah. I've never been able to beat the game, but, you know, I like it. I know, right? Um, it's a good game after you had a few cervezas because um, you just kind of move the thing around. There's not a lot of skill to it. It's got to be fast. Uh, so CCRT is saying uh, it's an Easter egg, which is kind of a technology thing to find the hidden thing. Um, Robert's got a cool um, comment here. Uh, Nick, um, looking out the van roofs or looking at the van roofs out the window, it looks like you're in a penthouse. We talked about that earlier. And it absolutely is I mean, like eight feet off the ground. It's pretty yeah. cool. Very different, right? Yeah. It is. It is. You can really see a lot. And this is nice, especially if you're not in the middle of an RV dealership. If you are in the middle of God's country somewhere and you can really see further, you're up higher, you can see down. And also, I feel a little protected when I'm up a little higher that any bears or anything that comes up here, <laughs> they're not going to be able to jump in the window, you know, like they're, you know, I can keep them at bay down there. <laughs> well, you get your shotgun in case you need it. That's true. There's two shotgun places up the, up know, up the right? front. So let me just scan for some more quick questions. I think we're about done. Um, hope you all enjoyed this. Um, it's a very different rig, and it's very compelling for a lot of reasons. Um, it's kind of got the size of a big you know, van footprint, like a um, like a like a B plus maybe, but it's yes. it's not a class A like I say, and it's a very capable rig to take somebody into the woods as far as they want to go. Yeah. Um, let me just splash this, uh, Nick, and we'll ask you for any last comments in case you want to uh, uh, take a picture of the, um, the website. So store, uh, sunshinestaterv's.com, uh, storytelleroverland.com, and then in-person events. You can see it at Storyteller uh, until uh, the end of the month. So that's a pretty big deal. In Gainesville. In Gainesville, yeah, Gainesville, Florida. Center of the known universe. <laughs> it's the ep we are the epicenter of Class B RVs. Well, this is great. Nick, thank you for your time showing us today. We're just uh, so uh, pleased to be working with you. And um, we got a lot coming down the road. And uh, so, again, just thank you for your support. And thanks for giving us uh, a live tour of this rig today. Um, stay right there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen in the audience and watching the replay, thank you for watching. Um, reach out. If you have any questions about this, reach out specifically to, to um, Sunshine State RVs, and they'll help you out and schedule a, a walkthrough, what have you. Right, Nick? Yeah, yeah 100%. And, and you also give... Give advice. Anybody that's reaching out to us, you know, we jump on a Zoom with them and help them make a decision and all that. I've got a few scheduled this week. It's pretty cool. I'm really that's excited cool. about this stuff. That's great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And we will uh, see you soon. And thanks for watching. Hang tight, Nick. Peace. Yes,